Okay, welcome everyone again. And in this session, we will talk about the general definition of quality and what is quality meaning. Um, why we need to talk about this? Because the quality itself, even for the, uh, the specialist, has a different definitions. So you can say that there is no only one unified definition for quality. And what does that also mean? Means that you can expect how people look to the quality from different perspective and have their own um, definitions of quality. Uh, some people, they could say the quality means the reliability or the quality means the uh, physical appearance of um, uh, the device or the product or it could be um, uh, the ease of use. So that's why we need to highlight on the major definitions and th uh, scientist thoughts about the quality before we go and proceed with the quality improvement methods. The quality in general, they identified, as we said, in different um, uh, definitions. Degree of excellence, one of the simplest and easiest to recall as a definition of quality, the attributes or faculty for good, that's mean the unique things about um, uh, items or product, that's considered to be uh, a quality. Uh, here we will um, demonstrate some of the famous uh, and scientists in quality uh, definition, uh, what, what they believe and what is their point of view about the quality. Here is one of them is uh, she worked. And um, he says, um, and I like the definition, how he looks to the things he open in his definitions, the room for people to, to judge the quality in his definitions. Well, let's read it. Uh, often best practice uh, described as a qualitative, that means something that can be um, um, uh, advantages and also can be quantifiable because he said that is quantifiable but has both both objective and subjective side okay has both objective and subjective side meaning that has the quantifiable number that it says it is a good and also has the subjective side where people think that okay this is not important for me so i don't consider it quality as i said for example the reliability okay so it has a, uh, it is a qualitative, uh, it has a quantifiable measure. There is, um, uh, it is one minus the probability of failure uh, to identify, uh, to determine the quality and has the objective and the subjective. When you have 0.999 reliability, that's mean you have a high reliability, but also it has the subjective. That means some people think that is not important for me. So I don't consider it as a quality. So that's why one of the good definitions here, this is the keyword definition that opens the room for people, thoughts, including in the definition of quality. Crosby, Philip, uh, Philip Crosby, he thinks that or believes that the quality is the conformance to requirements or specification. Conformance means that you meeting or achieving the requirements or the specifications that is the quality. So when you set a uh, specifications for your product or your service, um, uh, or you set uh, requirements based on the customer uh, requirements, then you have to meet it to say that you have a uh, quality in your service or product. Quality is fitness for use. And that is the functionality. We can say that uh, Juran, he believes that is how it is fitting for use. Uh, and also, this is not far from the, the needs here in the requirements. Um, moving on also with Deming, one of the gurus in the quality, and there is a Deming Prize in Japan that annually for organization that shows the best practices. Uh, quality show should be aimed uh, at the needs of the customer presents and future. Quality begins with the intent which fixed by management. So it has to be a potential first, irada first, and then the management has to be 
maintain this um, uh, 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 intention um, and it has to meet the current customers and the future. So it has a broad view to the future and how to maintain the quality also for the future, not only in the current. Um, uh, Figenham, um, the total composite uh, products and service characteristics of marketing, engineering, manufacturing, and maintenance through which the uh, which the product and service it will meet the expectation of the customer. So he is again coming to the meeting the expectation or the requirements and the customer, but he is considering all um, 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 the factors related or the um, uh, um, components related with the service, maintenance, uh, marketing, all these how they become um, in overall meeting the customer requirement, not only the final uh, uh, product or the final step in the process. ISO, uh, a well-known name in the standards and setting standards for uh, globally. The definition for quality, it says by their uh, ISO 9000-2000 here, uh, degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfill requirements. So you see many um, are talking about the requirements and uh, the characteristics and how you meet them to maintain the quality. And the term quality here can be used for uh, adjectives such as poor quality or good quality. The inherent uh, implies that the existing in, in something, uh, a permanent characteristic, so it has to be lasting, not just for a current. Uh, and um, the requirement need that is stated and implied for oblig uh, obligatory, that means set by the customer, so it is obligatory to meet it. Inherent, as we said, it has to be lasting, and the quality, it has to be, or it can be identifying whether high or low. Um, so the defining in quality, we can say that um, it can be um, varying from uh, philosophers, uh, from uh, scientists to others. It can be the perfection, fast delivery. It can be eliminating waste, consistency, doing the right from the first time. Um, sorry, it's flipped by itself. Um, so let's go back to the slide. Yes, total customer service and satisfaction, compliance with the policy and procedure, uh, the pleasing the customers and uh, delighting them, all these can be thoughts or as a definition for quality. That's why it's varying from a point of view. And that's why I refer to the Sheward, one of the really good definitions. I like that it gives um, um, you uh, as a someone, as a reader or as a your point of view is, is included in his um, definition, not uh, meaning that the requirement has to be fixed because it could be varying from uh, customer to others. Uh, quality perspective that the customer's needs has to go to um, uh, the marketing and they understand how the customer thinks and needs. So it goes to the design and then manufacturing and then distribution and then to the customer product and services um, how they meet the customers this is how the loop for manufacturing has to be done considering the value based in the design to the customer uh, requirement and including the um, that in every single uh, process steps in the production or the service um, Okay, the slides here are out now. It will come again. Okay, moving with the all definitions. Now we are coming to the more um, more recent definitions. The Gucci concept has a different concept for quality. He says that rather than detecting defects, let's design quality into the product right from the beginning. So uh, and referring that an ounce of prevention. So you prevent the process of having defects, defects from the beginning and the design from the beginning. Um, experimental design, design of experiment, DOE, 
this considered to be also um, a primary concept of uh, the Gucci method in implementing quality. Here is relying on the quality, um, uh, his concept relying on reducing the variability by having quality uh, or achieving quality robustness, uh, quality loss function, and target oriented quality. Um, his method or concept um, believes that the ability to produce a products uniformly has to be applicable in, in adverse manufacturing and environment conditions. So whatever is the environment, you still be able to produce a uniform and uh, with the minimum variability of your uh, production and remove the effects of adverse conditions along the way and reduce the causes for variability in your design or your production, uh, sorry, in your production um, all the way in your uh, um, uh, production processes. Um, shows that the cost increase as the product moves away from what the customer wants. So people think that always increasing to the quality mean increasing, increasing the cost. Actually, if you are moving away from the customer requirements, you are increasing the cost because you will spend uh, too much on that by inventory, by reworking, by maintenance, by services, and so on. Um, always focus on the customer requirement and utilize your process to meet it with the minimum cost. Cost include customer dissatisfaction and that's why it, it can be increased if you are away from uh, the, the customer requirements. Um, the slides off again will come a bit. Okay, traditional conformance to uh, traditional conformance specifications are too simple and simply uh, simple to 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 be done. And the quality loss function, which was I identified in uh, the Gucci concept, is stating that as you are far from the customer requirements, as your loss is increased, the the formula here that the loss equal the distance from the target value times the cost of deviation. That's why there is a relation will be as the distance of the, uh, from the target value increase as also the loss to society will be increased. And the cost of deviation that's also will be um, uh, considered when you calculate the loss to society. So focusing on the customer requirements as best practices will reduce the loss to society as you move away from the specification as you will be working in a high loss to society with including a high cost uh, production. Even though if you are working at this level of the upper and lower three standard deviation, which is still uh, under the specification, but you will be on the borderline. That means you may sometimes be away from the specification limits uh, or uh, coming to the trigger or the risk area where you can lose uh, the customer requirements. So that's why the best area to be is the tight uh, area where is the specification. So as much as close you can be to the specification and reduce the variability in your uh, product or services. And the quality and profitability also considered to be by two ways, either improve uh, quality of conformance and lower the manufacturing and services cost so you can have high profit or improving the quality in the design and higher uh, perceived value will be higher prices and increase uh, market share and the revenue. So either by reducing um, uh, cost or by improving your design, both of them, they will achieve you to higher uh, prof profitability as long as you are here uh, improving the or meeting the conformance of the customers 
as well as when you are uh, reducing the cost. Um, moving with the most recent um, company that um, founder or one of the founders of P&G Procter & Gamble company, William uh, Cooper Procter, I think he was the last one from the uh, Procter family who uh, Procter family was uh, running the company. Um, he says the first job we have is to turn out quality merchandise that customers will buy and keep on buying. So you are not just targeting first customers or new customers, but to have a loyal customers to always keep buying from you. If we produce efficiently, efficiently, that's mean with a low cost and economically, uh, sorry, economically with a low cost efficiently, that's mean utilize your resources very well. We will earn a profit in which we will share and people will um, um, keep buying your product or um, attaining for your service. Three critical issues were addressed in, the, uh, in that definition, the productivity, which may, can be measured uh, by the efficiency, uh, the cost of the operations, and quality of goods. Those, the three critical issues here uh, defined or identified here in the definition of William Proctor. So that means those are the focus how you be productive and efficient. That's mean um, um, the output and the input, they have to be um, in the best um, utilization. Your resources has to be utilized at the best. Uh, cost of your operation has to be reduced as much it can. And the quality of goods, that mean the most significant you can uh, produce of your product, that's mean the, um, um, you fulfill um, uh, the requirements. Um, good quality results, um, cost reduction, which is uh, meaning the, the opposite uh, of in, uh, working on the increasing the cost, because by reducing the cost of, uh, you will less, have less return, less rework and less warranty and maintenance to be done to your products. Increase uh, productivity on profits, that means it's a good quality and satisfy customer as no quality causes bad repetition or low, uh, low sales. Um, this is taking, taking the quality from um, assurance into focusing on the process management and the process uh, for planning, taking the quality also from current customers to focus on current and future customers also meaning that the human resource utilization, this is how it was. Now you think you have to have not utilization, but a human resource development, how you develop your human resource. And from supplier quality to supplier partnership, this is how the evolution of quality is going, especially when we apply uh, the quality in a large scale where is supply chain logistics applied. Um, it is, um, has to be um, uh, thinking more uh, globally and utilizing every single resource you have and improve it and keep improving it. Um, this is just a quick uh, was um, uh, overview about the quality. Uh, we believe this is, has to be essential to be um, introduced to you before you dive in, in the methods and um, uh, improve processes, what is the whole story about quality? This was just a quick, um, uh, an overview. I hope it was um, beneficial to you. And now the time, if you have any questions, please ask um, um, if you have um, questions or comments regarding to this part.